One question I get asked all the time is how at Mokalele we're able to safely operate our single-engine Cessna caravans over the open water between islands carrying passengers. And it's a lot more than just picking a high altitude or carrying life jackets on board. So in this video, I'll show you guys some of the tools and strategies we use to make it safely happen. The first thing that helps us fly safely over open water is this, the Pratt & Whitney PT-6 turboprop engine. It's the world's most produced turboprop with about 50,000 engines made since 1960. That's over 400 million hours of flight time worldwide on these engines. And they have a shockingly low in-flight shutdown rate of just 3 per 1 million hours of flight time. That equals a tiny percent chance that you'll ever have an engine issue that requires a shutdown during flight. As for legally binding FAA op specs for our airline, Mokalele is limited to a maximum of 50 miles offshore at any time in Hawaii. And we also have to comply with Federal Regulation 135.183, which requires us when we're carrying passengers to stay within gliding distance of land at all times. Flight crews here choose a safe altitude based on a few factors. The first of which is the fact that our Cessna caravans aren't equipped with an oxygen supply out here in Hawaii. That means when flying under part 135 with passengers, we're limited to just 30 minutes above 10,000 feet up to 12,000 feet. And we're rarely over 10,000 feet anyway because our longest route is about 80 miles. Because of this, the primary factor in deciding our cruise altitude is the distance between islands that we're flying. The longest stretch of open water that we use regularly is between Maui and the Big Island at just over 30 miles. Based on the caravan's glide ratio, Mokalele gives us pilots minimum channel crossing altitudes between all the islands to make sure we're staying within glide distance at all times. Between the Big Island and Maui, our minimum channel crossing altitude is 7,500 feet. Between Maui, Molokai, and Lanai, the minimum channel crossing altitude is 2,500 feet. And finally, between Molokai and Oahu, the minimum channel crossing altitude is 5,000 feet. Again, it's all based on the distance between shorelines in comparison to our Cessna Caravan's glide ratio. In reality, these are just advisory numbers to us as pilots, and we're normally well above the minimum altitudes for any of our routes. Inside our airplanes in the G1000 database, we have user-generated waypoints, which show us the different uh, altitudes and distances from land that we can be for any given route. So, for instance, here between the Big Island and Maui, we have four different points. We have Buggy, 7,500 feet, Point, 8,500 feet, Glide 9, 9,500 feet, and Glide 10, which is 10,500 feet. Again, these points are just advisory to us as pilots, they're a good way for us to verify our route planning is done correctly and we can make sure that we're within safe gliding distance of land. Every time we fly, we have two iPads on board the airplane, which are approved for use as electronic flight bags. And there's this really cool feature in ForeFlight called the Glide Advisor, where we enter the Cessna Caravan's best glide ratio of 14 to 1 and the glide speed of 95 knots. The Glide Advisor then takes our GPS data, our ground speed, terrain, and altitude to morph it into a map that shows us a glide ring where we can glide based on an engine failure and our current location and altitude. It's a really cool tool that we can use when we're flying over the open water to safely ensure that we've done our route planning correctly.
One challenge we do face occasionally is dealing with air traffic control. Generally speaking, here in Hawaii, they do a really great job remembering at Mokalele that we have altitude constraints and distance requirements from land to make sure that we're within gliding distance. But every now and then we get a clearance that takes us offshore at too low of an altitude. And normally the best way of solving that is just explaining that we have to stay within glide and then we request a new clearance. The Cessna Caravan is a great choice for our short routes out here in Hawaii. The Pratt Whitney PT6's reliability rate coupled with company policies and really in-depth route planning is how we safely operate single-engine aircraft over open water here in Hawaii.